United Methodist Church. Man, it's great to see everybody this morning. Uh, a fun and wonderful worship day with the choir doing our cantata this morning. It's, gonna be, it's just going to be wonderful and peaceful and feel like home. So I'm going to go short on the announcements this morning. We don't have a screen, so if you don't have a bulletin, let's get one because you're probably going to need it for things coming up later. So I'll hit on the things that are happening this week because I don't know if anybody else noticed, but like Christmas is here. Like bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so um, our cantata is this morning. The communion offering for the month of December is designated to COPE. Local Food and Resource Ministry, a wonderful ministry, will collect that offering throughout the month of December. Caroling tonight with the uh, youth group, meet at the church at 515 if you're interested in wandering through the neighborhood and singing some Christmas carols. The trustees will be meeting today at 5 o'clock. If you're on the trustees, please um, join them for this important meeting. We're going to make some more decisions. We're, uh, we're sprucing up our church building. As always, the UMW has their fresh nuts available and there's crafts with great for gift giving in the fellowship hall. Joy will be having our Christmas um, luncheon meeting this Tuesday. So um, seniors, 55-ish and over, come out at 10.30 for some great fellowships and lunch and bingo. Good time. And the UMW Circles meeting this, this week, Thursday this week, the, um, uh, the Faith Circles meeting at 10.30 and going to Colorado Grill and White House for lunch together. And the Hope Circle will be meeting here at the church at 6 o'clock. Any women in the church should come. It's just gonna, it's not a meeting, it's a Christmas party, so let's come out and have some good time. We will be playing reindeer games. Bring your daughters, bring your granddaughters. Come on out and we'll just have a fun evening together, ladies of the church. Six o'clock on Thursday night. New members luncheon is next Sunday. Um, so remember if you uh, can stay after the, is that after the two, uh, 11 o'clock service, Charlotte? and bring a covered dish unless you're a new member and i think there was one other one i wanted to touch on oh acts of love is coming out in your newsletter this week and um, please give prayerful consideration to the things on this list anything that you think you might be interested in helping with it's not a commitment if you sign up that i might be willing to help with the fourth of july party come fourth of july if you're not available you won't be banished we'll just reach out to you and say are you still interested and even if there's one thing on the list that touches you and you think I could do that, mark it off. Bring back your acts of love and there'll be a basket to collect them here. Everything else that I'm aware of is in the bulletin. Anything that I've missed or we do need to touch on separately? And if not, we'll go to prayer concerns. We do have those we're aware of in, the, uh, in your bulletin. Again, if you don't have a bulletin, grab one on the way out. Uh, and remember these folks during your prayers this week. In addition to those listed, um, I'd like to point out um, Derek Davies is on the list as my nephew. He's um, going to Vanderbilt today and he'll be having a, a heart procedure. So please uh, remember Derek in your prayers. The family of Louise Jackson, who passed away, that is Kathy Wiggins' mother and Melissa Odom's cousin. So please keep that family in your prayers as they go through this tough week as well as the family of Eleanor Ford, which is Marshall and Julie Ford's grandmother. She passed this week also. Are there any additions to the um, prayer concerns that we need to remember? Any updates? I've got one. Um, it's, it's a joy, but also a prayer concern. My cousin, Kemp Wilkerson, who actually lives here in Greenbrier, and I mentioned him in the sermon that he has polycystic kidney disease. has had both of his kidneys removed. Uh, he has uh, received word last night that he got a donor, uh, so he's at Vanderbilt right now prepping for a kidney transplant. So there's the joy, but also he'll be at Vanderbilt for about a week. Uh, we just want to pray that everything goes well with surgery and, and that he has a uh, successful recovery. So Kemp, K-E-M-P-F, Kemp Wilkerson. Thank you. Bobby Osborne, um, a good friend of ours, dad of four, he is having a surgery on Tuesday. Uh, he does have prostate cancer. Bobby Osborne, surgery Tuesday. Any others? If there's not, we'll um, remember those folks in prayer shortly, but we'll begin our, our service with the lighting of our Advent candle. 
I'd ask that it be certain documents and they move forward and they're going to need that. Yep. So it's the feast of faith. Yeah. Uh, come on down. We're looking for the I'll get them. Okay. Way back later. the second candle, the candle of peace. The light of this candle symbolizes the peace that is ours in Christ. Jesus came to reconcile us to God and we are at peace with God through him. We anticipate the peace that his birth brings to our hearts, and we also look forward to the day of his return when Jesus establishes his eternal reign of peace. Let us pray. Jesus, you entered our world on Christmas as the Prince of Peace. This Advent, fill us with a deep and abiding peace. Help us share your peace with everyone we encounter. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Continue with our hymn of praise, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. It's on page 211 in your hymnal, and we will sing verses 1 and 4. Father. 
I would invite you now to a time of silent prayer, and then I will pray on your behalf, and we will join in the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Loving God, our prayer today would be the hymn that we sang, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Come, O God, and be present with us each day of our lives. Be present with us during this time of worship. We thank you so much for the season of Advent, for the beauty, for the light, for the peace that Christ brings to our lives. We pray that we would remember these beautiful gifts that have been given us. So often we are so tied up during this season in gift giving, but let us remember that we have been given the precious gift of a son, and that is the greatest gift, the son, the one who has come as our Lord and Savior. Help us to live in the light of Christ's beauty today. Help us to worship you and praise you in adoration today. Oh God, you are so wonderful. We thank you so much for our choir, for all that they mean to us. We thank you for their voices that we, we lifted in praise. And we would lift our voices in praise to you today, oh wonderful God. Now would you help us to be your disciples as we go from this place today. We will go knowing that we have been blessed, but we will go to serve you faithfully. We pray for all that are on our prayer list today. We pray for the family of Louis Jackson in their time of mourning. We pray for Marshall Ford and his family and the loss of the grandmother. We pray for Derek as he goes through um, procedure this week and surgery. We, we pray for Jason's cousin, Kent. Uh, we're, we're glad to receive this good news. But we pray for this um, time of having a kidney transplant. For Bobby Osborne as he goes through surgery. For all that are on our prayer list today, oh gracious God, for all that are suffering, for all that are in need of your healing touch, we pray for the peace of Christ might be with them. We ask all of these things in the precious name of Christ our Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
story. A story that you may believe you already know well. We ask you to listen as though you've never heard it. Imagine that you are waiting just as we were waiting, just as we have been waiting for generations. We waited for the fulfillment of a promise God had made, a promise of salvation and deliverance. It felt like we were living just watching for signs that the promise was coming to pass. Just when it seemed as though God had forgotten, the Almighty's timetable was completed. He reached down into our world and set events in motion that would change everything.
Mary and Joseph's story had taken quite a few miraculous turns. It included an angel's announcement, an incredible dream, a dangerous journey, a surprising birthplace, and some unusual first visitors. I wasn't much for watching the heavens, but those who did couldn't miss a new star shining so brightly.
prophet Isaiah wrote, The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. That light had already been seen in distant lands. Wealthy men of learning were already on their way to worship him. And it was just the beginning of the difference that Jesus would make. He wasn't just a baby. He was more than a king. He was hope we could touch and see and hold. in my arms, I was filled with praise to God that I had seen his salvation at last. Mary and Joseph seemed amazed at what I was saying, and my heart was filled with compassion for them. 
How could this poor carpenter care for the Messiah? Did this humble girl have any idea of both the joy and the sorrow that had awaited her in the life of this child? suddenly answered. I began talking about him to everyone who had been waiting for God to rescue us. And I couldn't stop praising God for all he had done for me. It wasn't because I was worthy of such a blessing. It was simply a gift of God's grace. The same gift is waiting for you today no matter who you are. If you need hope, hope is here. The waiting is over.
place to invite you to the Lord's table. The choir has invited you to the table is set. You said, come. I hope you listen to the words of that song. So we're going to begin our communion liturgy. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. This will be on page uh, 12. Of your hymnals. Let's join in our confession and pardon. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray in silence for a moment. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Friends, continuing on, page 13 of United Methodist Hymnal. We received the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity and made covenant to be our sovereign God spoke to us through your prophets who looked for that day when justice shall roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. When nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ whom you sent in the fullness of time to be a light unto the nations. You scatter the proud in the imagination of their hearts and have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You put down the mighty from their thrones and exalt those of low degree. You fill the hungry with good things and the rich you send away empty. Your own son came among us as a servant to be Emmanuel, your presence with us. He humbled himself in obedience to your will and freely accepted death on a cross. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. Friends, on the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he took bread. He gave thanks to you, O Lord, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup. He gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. 
Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here. And on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. I'd like to ask those who are helping to serve communion to come forward at this time. Friends, this is not a United Methodist table. This is the table of the Lord. All are welcome to come here and partake of His grace, of His love, of His forgiveness, of the remembrance of those mighty acts in Jesus Christ. We're going to be serving the choir first, but before we do that, I want you to think about the words that they've just sung for you. If you're looking for hope, hope is here. If you're searching for love, Love is here. If you're hunger for peace, peace is waiting. It's heaven's gift and it is near. Come to all you long for. Come to all you need. Come now and see, come and receive God's only begotten Son. Come. My best choir to come down this time. <laughs>
friends arise and go in peace. Amen. and go in peace. Amen. Are there those that need to be served from your seat? If you would, just lift the hand. Anyone? Now that we've heard this wonderful story of hope once again, let's go into the world and share the good news of Jesus with all those we meet.
Friends, let's stand up. Are you blessed by that? Has God been good to you? Or do you feel like it's Christmas now? We want to give this choir and musicians and narrators and everyone a hand. Let's uh, show them our appreciation. <laughs> Especially if any of you know anything about music, how much it is to wrangle all these choir folks and musicians together <laughs> and put this together. This takes months and months of preparation, so let's please uh, show our appreciation to our music director, Kim Jones. Y'all heard Rex back there on the cowbell, right? Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, Rex. Oh, 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 oh. Friends, we, uh, we, we've had a busy day today. The, the gospel has been proclaimed through song. What better way? Amen. So I want to leave you with your benediction with some words from one of my favorite songs. Wow. Hope has hands, freedom has feet, truth will stand, the word will speak, the holy and lowly will finally embrace, for love has a heartbeat, and grace, it has a face. Go forth from this place as a people who have encountered the Lord God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, who have put their whole trust in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, and who believe in the Holy Spirit, who even now fills us with peace, with love, with hope, and with joy this Advent season. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go forth in peace. Amen. Amen.